Welcome to our studio tutorials for Fract. In this video, we are going to introduce you to the basic studio tools. We'll quickly touch on all the tools you'll be interacting with. And not to worry, we will go into greater detail in other videos. Locks. When you first start in the studio, everything starts out locked. As you progress through the game, studio tools become unlocked and available for you to use. Just so I can show you the tools, I'm going to unlock everything quickly. Now that everything is unlocked, I'll go over the various tools and their uses. First, we'll start with the synths. There are three core synths, or instruments, in the game. We have the lead synth, let me unlock it quickly, the bass synth in the middle, and finally the pad synth. Each synth has its own sound and different controls. We'll look at them in much greater detail in other videos. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the step sequencer, which is up here. The step sequencer. So the step sequencer is where you write small passages or patterns that the synths will play. Each pattern is composed of steps or notes. These patterns will become the building blocks for the songs you compose with the pattern sequencer, which is below. The pattern sequencer. The pattern sequencer is where you can arrange your patterns, or a composition, for the synths to play. This panel allows you to control what parts of your song are currently playing, looping, and what's going to play next. The pattern sequencer also has global controls, like speed and playback, and it hooks up to some of the song sharing features in Fract. There's a lot to cover on the pattern sequencer, and we'll go into much greater detail later, so don't worry about it for now. That's it for the basic overview. Be sure to check out the other tutorial videos to take a look at the studio in greater detail. Thanks from the Frack team.